From the Poor Man's Morning and Evening Portions by Robert Hawker. August 28th, Evening. The word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. John 14:24. My soul, hast thou ever fully and thoroughly considered that sweet and precious teaching of thy Lord, which, as mediator, when upon earth, in all his discourses and conversations with his disciples, he was perpetually showing them. I mean, that all he was and all he had and all he dispensed were the blessings and gifts of his Father in him to his people. If thou hast been meditating upon this most blessed point of the gospel ever so fully and closely, it will still afford new glories for every renewed attention to it. And therefore, sit down this delightful summer's evening and take another view of it. Jesus comes to his people in his Father's name, and he saith in this charming scripture that his very words are not his, but the Father's. So much of the heart of the Father is in Christ, and in all of Christ, and all he saith, and in all he hath done. So that what Jesus is doing in all his ministry upon earth, yea, in all his sovereignty now in heaven, but showing to his redeemed the Father and the Father's love and grace and mercy towards his people in him. Did he not then come forth from the bosom of the Father full of grace and truth, as if to unfold uh, to us what passed in the heart of the Father of love and mercy towards his people in the wonders and redemption? And is not Jesus now in every renewed manifestation teaching his redeemed the same? If all that the Father hath are our Jesus's, and all the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelleth in him, surely we ought never to receive any of his good and blessed gift without acknowledging the Father's love in them. And would not this make every blessing doubly sweet and increasingly precious? If Jesus himself be the gift of the Father, shall I not enjoy the Father in all that Jesus bestows? And as I ha can have no immediate communion with the Father, but by him, will not the mercies gathering a blessedness and a value in coming to my poor soul through Jesus' hand as the bountiful dispenser of them? Yeah, shall I not find a savor which otherwise could never have been known in receiving them and from Jesus, convinced as I am that none cometh to the Father but by him, and but for his opening a new and living way by his blood, Never should I have known the Father's love or the Redeemer's grace. Dear Lord Jesus, do thou give me by the blessed Spirit ever to keep in remembrance these precious things. So shall I truly enjoy both thy person and thy gifts, and then I shall not, like the apostle, pray for a sight of the Father's distinct from thee. For I shall then be perfectly satisfied and convinced that in seeing thee, I see the Father also, and from henceforth that I know him and have seen him. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift.